Hello fish lovers, I welcome you all to my channel Blue Aquatics. I hope you are doing good. Friends, today I am going to introduce a very common but misinterpreted topic for flower horn fishes or any kind of fishes that is deworming. As we all know that our fishes need deworming. But we are not aware that how to deworm and how often we should do the deworming process. Firstly, you should know that does your fish really need deworming or your fish is at the verge of deworming. That means your fish is in position in which worms in its body are stored in a large quantity. So addressing the issue of how to assure your flower horn fish needs deworming is by noticing following points. Firstly, bloated stomach or enlarged stomach. Secondly, flower horn color changing to black. In addition to that, head is lowering down day by day. Also, the red poop contains some white particles or white grainy substance. Lips are swelling that is enlarged lips from normal size. Also sometimes eyes also start to popping out. Taking the physical changes such as color change and decrease in head size, popped eyes or swelled lips in the fish may make you affirm the possibility of worms in the fish body. But the most serious issue is in the stomach. That is, the worms are staying in the stomach or are living in the stomach. Though blotted stomach is a physical indication for the time to do deworming process. But the worm alert is not seen sometimes with any of these physical indications which lead to flower horn white poop issue. If this white poop issue is not addressed on time, then the risk of fish death is high. For this white poop treatment, we have made another video whose link you can find in the description section and solve this problem with your flower horn fish. Guys, as these worms in the stomach of fish can lead to fish death. So it is better to take care of your flower horn from starting and you must remove them from fish stomach timely. Since these worms in the stomach are the cause of many problems related to fishes, so 90% fish issues can be solved by doing deworming process on time. So finally you came to know the importance of the deworming process. Now let's see how the deworming process can be done in the present times at home. As many people use medicines for treating worms issue and they put different types of medicines suggested by the shopkeepers or fish breeders in the aquarium tank so that the medicine in the water enters the fish body to treat the worms. Secondly, most of the people mix medicines with the fish feed so that medicine is taken up by the fish along with the food. So basically medicines are the only source of treating the worms in the fish stomach at this time. If you know any other way to remove the worms from the fish body then do write us in the comment section and we will be making video from that mentioning your name with commending your idea. So let me introduce you to the process of deworming done by me with my lovely flower horns. I call them Max and Nemo. I used one of the common herbs for deworming my flower horns and followed a three days process with them. I gave them garlic for deworming their stomachs. Yes, you heard it right, 
the garlic shocked or confused so let me tell you the benefits of garlic first as you might know that garlic belongs to allium family and has potent medicinal properties also it has beneficial effects on the stomach along with detoxifying effects in addition to that garlic if eaten on an empty stomach acts as a powerful antibiotic with experts insisting as powerful detoxifying agent which helps in removing parasites and worms therefore taking these advantages of garlic into consideration i thought that it will surely help fishes to deworm so i started to form an idea that how garlic can be fed to the fishes i devised two methods of feeding garlic to the fishes first method i will be sharing with you today and second in upcoming videos as i mentioned earlier i followed a 3 days process with my flower horns max and nemo on the first day i made them to fast fasting is essential as the deworming needs an empty stomach to make the detoxifying agent to work or act on the worms so fasting my flower horns prepared them for deworming process on second day around 24 hours later or more i started to prepare the garlic paste feed for the flower horns as shown in video as you can see i have first peeled two garlic cloves and crushed them with the help of mortar and pestle making them into a paste using mortar and pestle may give you a feeling of an ayurvedic doctor preparing medicine for the patient just said it because it is the effort worth recommended because you are doing something good for your fish i want to say that as mortar and pestle may not be available with you at your home so you can use mixer or grinder or any other way to crush the garlic and make a paste out of it crush them so that a uniform paste could be made out of it and try that no drop of juice could be wasted as this is essential for making the medicine because you have to soak the pellets in it later on as you can see the medicine is being prepared to feed the fish for the one time but you can do it in the morning for the whole day for example like you are you are feeding 10 pellets once in the morning and 10 pellets in the evening so use garlic in that much quantity so that it could soak at least 20 pellets at a time and feed 10 pellets in a one go for the first feeding and keep other 10 aside for the next feed to be given in the evening in this way you will save the time in making the medicine for both the times in this way the concoction is made for the whole day make sure that you keep these prepared pellets that is the garlic mix pellets separately from the other pellets so that they are not get mixed and you won't feed the regular ones so keep them aside after that 
I soaked the Ocean Free FH G1 pellets. Around four pellets, two each for both flower horns, and left it for around five minutes, so that the garlic contents and its juice can get mixed with the pellets. Now as you can see that I have shifted the garlic paste to the cup and soaked pellets in it. In the same way you can transfer the garlic paste to other vessel and mix the pellets accordingly. As you can see, the pellets are now mixed with garlic and become softened by the garlic juice. So feed them one by one to the fish. As fish was fasting for around 24 hours, so it will eat the feed instantly. But due to softening, it can break into pieces and eaten up by the fish subsequently. Friends. Flower horn might don't like the taste of the pellet due to the garlic added to it. As you know, flower horns both Max and Nemo were starving for almost a day, so they will eat the feed. Since medicine are bitter in taste and who wants to take them, so same can be applied to fishes. But it is essential for the patients to have them. So feed them the required dose of garlic mixed with pellets one by one to the fish. Don't feed any other pellet in between or later to the flower horn as it will hamper the treatment process. I want to repeat it as do not feed them normal pellets as they won't be helpful for the fish health. Repeat these garlic mixed pellets for feeding the flower horn for the subsequent times as per your feeding schedule. Don't break the feeding schedule. For instance, as you give 8 pallets to the fish on normal days, then give the same number of pallets to the fish mixed with garlic on the deworming process days. You can try feeding garlic directly to the flower horn 
as it will be beneficial for him. We can think that the flower horn was starving for a day so that despite the bad taste which a flower, flower horn can feel by eating garlic but because of starvation it can eat some of the pieces of garlic feed it to him. But try only to feed crushed garlic not a garlic sized more than a pallet so that it will be eaten up easily by the flower horn. Now on third day, do the 30% water change in addition to the bottom cleaning using a siphon. If you won't do water change, then the worms which came along with the poop will contaminate the water. I would advise you to change the water surely, otherwise there is no benefit of doing deworming. So summing up. Your flower horn is not just like any other fish. Flower horn needs special attention from its owners. If you want to make your flower horn live longer, then you must deworm your flower horn at least once in a month, as explained in my video. From this video, you came to know that how important is deworming and when to do deworming process. And in this video, I've told how to do deworming. If you don't do deworming, then be ready for some other challenges related to flower horn sickness. So it depends upon you that do you want to do deworming or not. Let me know in comments that do you like this video or are you deworming your flower horn or not. I would wish you to stay healthy and subscribe my channel so you never miss any important and interesting update. Stay online. Thank you.